Sure. Well, you know, I think the, the good news uh, about our conversation so far is what we have seen all over the world is homeschooling and parenting are almost synonymous. Mm -hmm. You know, every good parent is actually homeschooling. You're teaching your kids things that they need for their life, right? Mm -hmm. um, every good homeschooler is also actually a good parent. So part of what we're doing in Homeschool Global, right, is helping change mindsets, if you will. Uh, we like to call it an education revolution of some sort, where we help parents realize that um, in the learning, right, mm -hmm. they can actually take charge of that. And second, as they do, there is a greater purpose for the learning beyond just academics or extracurriculars. And it, a lot has to do with what I mentioned earlier, values and instilling that in our children, right? Because you can have a very um, intelligent, uh, you know, even outstanding child in various areas, but their values are rotten and you will have people like um, Hitler, Hitler uh, you know, and various other persons, uh, Bernie Madoff, you know, if you look at the, the global scene, many people who um, are smart, they're smart. Outwardly seem like they have achieved in academics and extracurriculars even, but the value systems are weak and therefore they cave in. Uh, so we we like talking about this in homeschooling. We like to help parents understand, oh, there is another way to help my child learn very well, mm -hmm. but with that as the underlying um, foundation, if you will, of the learning, which is really values. Now, um, but many people are, are not aware of the social aspect, social yes. interaction in homeschooling. We, we have a lot of uh, misunderstanding about this particular part of uh, the development of uh, mm -hmm. kids. Yeah. You know? Like uh, they are, their social interaction are limited apparently when, when they do homeschool. Mm -hmm. Is it true or? or yeah, I, think I can answer that. You know, I think. Um, Joy was homeschooled. Uh, yeah. She has no social weird. interaction. <laughs> <laughs> she is very odd. Uh, believe me, I'm her husband. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, I think with, with homeschooling, of course you also have to be creative as a parent. Um, there's social development, which is making sure that our children grow into healthy um, adults who know how to interact with others, not to be a blessing to people, not to relate to others positively. There's also socialization, which is more of like kids getting together with other children, and usually we think of this as same age peers in the yeah. school setting, yeah. but why is it that we think that school is a venue for social, healthy socialization to take place? The reality is when children are in the home, for example, um, there, is, there is research done that the most foundational social relationship they need is with their parents. Uh -huh. And if they are secure in the love of their parents, mm -hmm. if they know they're unconditionally loved, unconditionally forgiven, accepted, they tend to feel like they can go out there, make relationships, but not be dependent on peers for their sense of identity or purpose. Because in the home, they're affirmed. They know, they're secure. So, for example, you have a child, um, let's say me growing up, I make friends, of course, outside the context of, of homeschooling and even when I was in college. Now, I saw that their values were different. I was able to detach myself without getting too sucked into mm -hmm. their lifestyle because I know that I have identified with the values of my parents right. and what we grew up with right. and our own family culture. Mm -hmm. If I didn't have that, I would naturally gravitate towards peers and embrace everything that they wanted me to sure. because I want that affirmation, I want that acceptance. Mm -hmm. so, so their social development, which is making sure that as parents, we teach our kids how to be a gentleman for our sons. As, as daughters, how to be ladies, how to be gracious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is all part of their social development. And it's teaching them how they can be a blessing to people. And in the home, well, some of the hardest people to forgive are your own family, right? Mm -hmm. So if they can learn to forgive one another, to unconditionally accept one another, to get along, then they can take those same relationship principles and apply it outside yeah. of the home. Yeah. And, and, we'll add to that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna add something? Yeah. And then, of course, as parents, we find venues for our kids to interact yeah. with children. We don't keep them in a fishbowl, yeah. you know? And what, what we do is we get together with other homeschool parents. Right. So once a week we have play groups. Mm -hmm. um, and then they 